the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto what? Salvation. Glory to everyone that believes. Our text states, can I dive into the text real quickly? Our text states that uh, the younger son had gathered all that he had. Glory. Traveled into a distant country and there with decided pleasure decided pleasure somebody shout decided pleasure there with decided pleasure squandered his property with wasteful living this boy was living according to the desires of his flesh thank you Lord Jesus with no concern for restraint with really no concern for what was right this really went contrary to his father's teaching Proverbs chapter 1 verse 8 the Bible says my son hear the instruction of your father thank you Lord and do not forsake the law of your mother they would be a graceful ornament on your head and chains about your neck I'm telling you that the reality of sin's pleasure is whenever you live for pleasure then those pleasures destroy your character Praise the Lord, everybody. I said that whenever you live for pleasure, those pleasures has a way of destroying your character. Somebody shout character. What is character? Character is a, 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 a glory. It is defined as the pattern of behavior, a personality found in an individual or a group understand how a Christian deals with the circumstances of their life really speaks of their character can I get a witness can I bar a sanctified witness thank you Lord Jesus crises doesn't necessarily make character but crises reveal character oh come on here and when you face the tight temptations of life it's either character or compromise. Praise the Lord, everybody. Yes, when you face struggle, it's either character or compromise. Jesus was the ultimate example of character. This, this is the theme of the conference. What is the theme? Building what? Come on, y'all know the theme? What is that? Building character that do what? Okay, bills are what? Build a life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So Jesus is our prime example of what? Character. Somebody shout character. Glory to God. Every time we choose character, we grow more in the image of Christ. Somebody shout the image of Christ. You remember Genesis 1, 26, the Bible says, and God said, let us make man, come on, in our image, come on church, and after our likeness, and let them have what? Dominion. Now, image means representing God, and likeness means resembling God. How many know that all human beings resemble God? Come on, church of God. God has two eyes, and you got two eyes. God got a nose. You got a nose. God got a mouth. You got a mouth. God got hands. You got hands. All human beings resemble God, but all human beings cannot represent God. Because in order to represent God, you got to get in Christ. Come on, 2 Corinthians chapter 4. The Bible said that Christ is the image of God. Come on, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if any man, oh, help me somebody. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, come on here. He is a new creature. So therefore, your lifestyle got to change. Reach over and tell someone, I'm glad God changed my lifestyle. 
Y'all ain't talking because I say lifestyle. Now come on, talk to somebody and say, I'm glad that God changed my lifestyle. I really don't care what lifestyle that you have, whether you are lazy to lesbian, homeless to homosexual, once you get in Christ, your, your lifestyle must put your hands together and praise the Lord. Praise them again. Let me get a break. Praise them. Be seated if you can. We'll fly in a few moments. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. So your character is who you are when nobody is looking. You can look good in front of the people. But what are you doing behind closed doors? If walls could talk, what they would say. Some of thank you for witness. Some people are peeping and hiding. Slipping, sliding. We masquerade in our Sunday's best. But there's something behind closed doors. The mask that we wear. is more than talk. Anyone can say they have integrity. Character is integrity. Anyone can say they have character. But action is the true indicator. Your actions determine whether or not you have good character. Your character determines who you are. People that always seem to be at war with themselves have problems in their character. James 2.18, the Bible says, but someone will say, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith without your works and I'll show you my faith by my works. Uh, come on, a tree is known. Come on, church, are y'all helping me here? A tree is known by the fruit that it bears. Come on, church of God. If we are kingdom minded, the Bible says, Matthew, go out. I hear so much in my head. So much is coming to me. Glory, Matthew 6 33. The Bible says, But seek ye first the kingdom come on of God and his so evidently if it's a his the kingdom is a he so seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness don't you know that the king has character y'all ain't talking I said the king has character and the character of the king is righteous oh y'all just missed it y'all some slow people he said seek ye first the kingdom of God and the king's character which is righteousness and the Bible said all these things shall be added unto you what is the kingdom of God well certainly the kingdom of God is not a mansion in the sky Come on, the kingdom of God, when God speaks of kingdom, he speaks more than real estate or geography. Y'all ain't talking to me, but according to Romans 14 and 17, the Bible says, for the kingdom of God is not meat. This sounds good, just leave it there. For the kingdom of God is not meat nor drink, but righteousness, peace. Come on, character. Righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. 